I want to talk about the fact that God has given us some things. And so, the title, the subtitle of this message is, God is a giver. He is an extravagant giver. Amen. So, in that verse, it says, it starts out with, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Amen. But a, a spirit of power, spirit of love, and a spirit of a sound mind. So God, by his very nature, is a giver. The Bible says, and this is, we are very familiar with this verse. I've been reading it for some time now to you. Uh, for God so loved the world that he did what? Yeah. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. So because of the greatness of God's love, he has given us his very best. Amen. So the Bible tells us that God is love. Amen. And because he is love, he gives. Amen. And he gives with that same type of love that he's given to us that we don't really expect anything back. There's a song we've always grown up singing in, in our church, in the Baptist church, I grew up in the Methodist church. You can't beat God yet. When Abraham uh, was about to do something God had never done. But God asked Abraham, I know you have faith, but I got to test you, Abraham. Amen. So he says, I want the very best you got. Abraham had cows, cattle, all kind of stuff. He had land, he had gold and silver. He even had angels coming to visit him and, and so forth. He says, what I want from you is your son. The one that I gave you the ability after you were totally unable to produce one. Mm -hmm. If he waited when he was 75 and 80, he could still make one. God waited until he was dead. He even said himself, I'm dead and Sarah dead. And God gave him a miracle. Amen. And he loved that son. Now God says, now go give him. I want you to sacrifice him. I want you to make an offering of the best that you got. Amen. And he did it. Knowing that, he had faith. When he went before God, on his way, he said, me and the boys are going to come. This boy is going to come back. Mm -hmm. He already believed when he was getting ready to kill his son, he already believed that God was going to resurrect him. Praise right. Hallelujah. So when it came down to it, and he lifted up his hand, getting ready to, to strike his son with that knife, the angel said, hold your hand, Abraham. There is a ram in the bush. And the angel says, now I know he passed the test. All right. Now I know that you love God. Now I know you have faith in me. Now I know every one of us have a test we're going to have to pass. Amen. And it may not be just one. I would say to say you're going to have a, a test, like I said, every time you get paid. Amen. But there's other tests in life. And so I want to just say, by God's very nature of loving, if you're going to love, you have to be an extravagant giver. Yeah. You have to give according to God's direction and will. And God gave his son. Jesus gave his life. He gave his pain. He gave his soul. Because when he died, Amen. it was not an easy death. Amen. He died being in torment. He died suffering on a cross, naked before everybody, shame and everything else that comes with it. But the Bible says he despised the shame. Amen. He knew it was going to be shame getting on the cross. He's seen people be crucified before. That was the only culture and only time in the, in the known world that people were crucified like that Amen. As, a, as a form of capital punishment. God made it for that particular time period that when his son comes, there will never be anybody dying like that. He wasn't the only one. Thousands died that way. That's how Romans, the Romans persecuted people. That's how they executed people. Wasn't no, wasn't, there was no electric chair. There was no, no poison. They took. You had to suffer when you died. Oh. But his suffering set us free. Amen. His suffering Amen. paid for what we needed. Right. And we shouldn't have to suffer. Right. Not to become born again. You shouldn't be suffering with sin. Amen. You 
shouldn't be suffering because you're living in sin. Now let me tell you, the Lord prepared a, a verse and some information for us, the 23rd Psalm. And it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow and death, Amen. I will fear no evil. Why? Because thou art with me. We need to start teaching our children the 23rd Psalm and the Lord's Prayer. If you don't teach them nothing else. Amen. Teach them those songs. I, I tell you what, it got me out of trouble a whole lot of times. But you got to understand that because of sin in our life, the Lord is going to walk with you through your sin. Amen. If you are saved. He will bring you out of it. Because many of us in our life, we have to, we're going to, we, because of some things that God allow us to, 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 to still have to walk through, that you're going to need him to walk with you through that process. Amen. If you was a crackhead, a lustful person, a liar and a thief, there's some things that we got to read. I'm saved. And God has forgiven you of all those things. And God will never judge you for those things, and he's not going to judge you now. But sin has a repercussion. And sometimes we got to walk back through some of those same ways. And he's going to walk you through the valley of shadow and death. Amen. You walking with him? Yeah. And it's going to be by his grace. Yeah. And he'll show you his favor in the midst. He'll cause the people that you got to go back through and deal with or the situation or the character defects that you have. He'll take you right back through those things all over again and he'll be there with you. Amen. And he'll change the circumstances. Amen. He'll change everything in your life if you learn how to give him your life. Say this, I give you, I give you my, life my life today, today. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Because that's what it really comes down to. Amen. That you got to give the Lord your life. Amen. That means everything you got. Amen. Your time, your talent, your abilities. I'm going to leave your money alone right now. But everything you got, your future. Give him your past. Give him your right now. Amen. And that's when you begin to see God be God in your life. Yes. Otherwise, you won't, you in charge, you do your life like you want to. You, 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 you do whatever. I, I, I do what do what I feel like doing. I, I can't walk, I can't do it that way. When God gives us specific ways how to do what he tells us to do, we choose to do it our way. Well then go through the valley of shadow and death by yourself. But you gotta take it with you. We take God with you. He is your battle axe. He is your battle axe. No, just that. He fights the battle for you. He says the battle is mine. The battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. Amen? So what are we going to trust him? So I want you to know God's a giver. He gave us his son. So we understand that. That verse says he has not given us a spirit of fear. That's cowardliness. Like we already talked about this. But he has given us a spirit of, 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 of power and of love and a sound mind. I'm going to talk a little bit about the other stuff that God has given us. Because of his grace and the new covenant, he's given us unmerited favor, unearned and undeserved favor. So by the blood of Jesus, he gave us his son. Because he's a gift. Now can you think of a better gift than Jesus? I mean, I, I know everybody here is going to really realize it. When we die and go over into uh, heaven, you're going to really see the difference. But I, but, but I want you to understand, because you got Jesus right here right now. Amen. He is off. You know, you know what I've learned? Since I began to know these particular scriptures, and I began to, I pray these scriptures every day. From the day God showed me these scriptures, I've been praying these every, for two years. Do you know the struggle that I had with trying to walk a holy life is not even in my life anymore. Amen. That's right. Praise. As the scripture in Proverbs says to a young man, he says, walk straight on and look straight ahead. Praise God. Amen. You want to keep yourself out of trouble? Walk straight on and look straight ahead. Amen. When you see something that looks attractive to you or something you should, you might desire, you need to walk straight on and look straight ahead. I'm serious. the Bible. 
Bible study. Everybody here should be making a way to Bible study. You should be making a way to Sunday school. You can't get too much of God. You, that's, we're talking one, two, three, four hours out of your week. And Christians have a hard time coming to Bible study and Sunday school. When the blessings of God is released, you don't know what was released in Sunday school this morning that it may even exceed for you what's going on in Sunday morning. Praise Sunday God. morning worship. Why are you listening to me? Praise you got to come after him like you mean it. Yeah. And you give him your life and you orchestrate your life around him. Amen. He says, study to show yourself approved. Amen. He, tells, he told Joshua, he said, I need you to meditate in the word day and night. Yeah. Amen. That you may have great success and you will prosper because you meditated the word. And specifically these words. Then he says, then not only did he give us his son, he gave us forgiveness of sin. That's extraordinary. Because every one of us was sinners on our way to heaven. Amen. Going to church every Sunday. Amen. It's, I hate to say it, sometimes I believe there's more sinners in, in, in church than it is in and then outside the church. Some church you can, you can say, oh yeah. Oh, y'all say it's on your way to hell. No. When, we, when you look at the word forgive, Amen. It, the first part of that, the base word is give. Amen. Give is the base of that, basis of that word. So that means for give. <coughs> or you are, God was for giving. Amen. And so he gave us everything. Amen. God is for giving. Amen. So he forgave. Amen. And he forgave you of everything. Amen. He gave you his righteousness. Amen. Then, 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 then not only does he give us forgiveness, uh, but he gives us eternal life. Praise God. You shall never die. God gets it. God, you can't go nowhere and buy this kind of stuff. God is, is an extravagant giver. How can you give somebody eternal life unless you got it to give? Praise God. Everybody else is trying to put somebody in hell uh -huh. by your judgments. We say, I, I know they're going to hell. <laughs> but realistically, we don't have a hell and a hell put nobody in. I saw people stop cussing around me and stop drinking and stop smoking around me. I don't care what you're drinking and smoking. I do care, but hey, you on your own, baby. Because I ain't got a hell and a hell to put you in there. Keep on cussing like you want to. Because it ain't what, it's only what's on the inside of you anyway. Anybody who cuss, that's what's in your mind. That's who you are. What comes out of your mouth is in your heart. So if you're full of cuss words, you're full of whatever you just said. Amen. Because I had to learn how to stop cussing. And since y'all want me to tell you how to stop cussing, stop thinking in those terms. Because in your mind, you don't say it, but you think it. That blankety blank. And so eventually at some point, when you are uh, excited, it's going to fall out the left side of your mind. <laughs> but let the right words come out the right side. Are you listening to me? He gave us not only eternal life, but he gave us healing by the stripes of Jesus. And see, all these things, these extravagant gifts, as the first gift, all he asks you to do is to what? Believe. That's all he asks. He didn't ask you to earn none of this. It's unmerited. It's unearned. It's undeserved favor of God. If I can ever get you to believe it, if I can ever get you to meditate on it, if I ever get you to ask for it, if I ask you to say, I simply receive it, Lord, you got it. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. You're here. Amen. And you got to say that from your very being. And thank God for it every day. Salvation. He saved us. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. The then he says this, God has given us no condemnation of sin. Jesus says when he went into the temple, he took his blood and he purged us. He purged your mind Thank of Lord. sin and consciousness. Thank Lord. No condemnation of sin. But do you know what that is? It's when your mind reminds you of things that you have been, you have done that God has already forgiven you of. Thank you. Yeah. And your conscience has nothing to do with God. Yeah. Your conscience has something to do with self-righteousness. Yeah. That's the issue. Because sometimes we can get
get so saved that I can't just start beating you up and start telling you, you know, you ain't all that. <laughs> and for you know, you down on your knees weeping, oh God, because we haven't been taught. When you got saved, God wiped it away. He's the that I'm telling you. He wants to change the way you think. I mean, this, this, this is why he cares about you. Now, we haven't got to the money part. I may not get to that today. Because you got to understand that the stuff I'm telling you about is far exceeding. You can't pay for this. When you call on him and say, Lord, I need the blood. Because I still think about this stuff. And you still tell your mind, stop that foolishness. I am a child of God. I am a son of God. I am set free. And what I did, that ain't who I am. Amen. Yeah, I did. And what the shame of it, but now I have a different heart. Amen. You better talk to yourself. Amen. Amen. You don't need a mirror to look in the mirror to talk to yourself. Just talk to yourself. You do it when you're in the kitchen. You do it while you're beating your children. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Amen. He give, he's given us extraordinary. If nobody has this. He's given us access to him and his throne. Amen. I want to stop right here because I want to run over here. Because I know my time is short. I counted 30 things that God gave us by grace. Amen. I had written down in that little printout I gave you about 18. I've counted 30. And every time I keep looking, I keep seeing more. God is extravagant. Why won't he give you money? Because you think you ain't worthy for it. You keep saying, well, I ain't rich. Yes, you are. If where you're going, the streets are paved with gold. The walls in the building is made of jewels. Fantastically made. You've never seen stuff glimmer like this. They walk around, you're gonna walk around on it. It's gonna be like rocks and asphalt. It is, it's just garbage up there. You got so much of it. Like we got dirt right here. And they walk around. And you think you're not worthy of that? And you think we think more highly of that than the things I've named. And if you, if, if you know you can go get a million dollars, 10 million, whatever, you'll be at this door right now. You, you make a wall or a door right through that window, right? There. You press it down, you just go in there and kick the sucker down. Because you know, I want that. And this right here is far precious, more precious than who? Praise God. I used to. And so I want to tell you a, a little bit more about this process because um, go open your Bible to 1 John chapter 5. First John chapter 5. I got to be looking at this. First John chapter 5, verse 14. Don't hesitate. I want you to go ahead and read it right now yourself, and I'll read it out loud. First John chapter 5. Verse 14. It says, okay. This is the confidence, which is the faith, the assurance that we have, the absolute concept in the forefront of my mind. In the forefront of my mind, I have confidence, and I always think that way, that we have, is this is confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. His will is that you have the Son of God, forgiveness of sins, eternal life. He's already given it to you. Amen. Healing by his strike, uh, salvation, no condemnation of sin, no sin consciousness, access to God is strong, reigning as a king and a priest, deliverance from the powers of darkness, uh, the gift of the gift of righteousness, gift of grace, gift of the abundance of grace, gift of the abundant life, gift of justification, gift of redemption by his blood, the spirit of Christ, the spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, the new creature walking in the newness of life, adoption made a son of God, a joint heir of Jesus Christ, the riches of Jesus, the blessing of Abraham, the promise of the spirit, the mind of Christ, the measure of faith, the riches of God's glory, the riches of his grace, the love of God, the love of Christ, and the measure of faith. And that's just where I stopped it. Amen. Praise God. 
He's already given it to you. Amen. And you can ask God according to his will. And it says this, if we ask anything, and that's the anything, that covers everything in your life. Praise God. Amen. We know, first of all, that he hears it. Yes. Is it because he speaks back to you all the time? It's because you said what he said, you believe what he said, and you get what he said. Because he tells, he tells us this. He says, if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. Whatever you ask. Amen. According to those lists, you got it, baby. In fact, he already told you, I've already given this by the blood of Jesus. It's already yours. So now, here's your test. Will you believe it? The only way you're going to believe it is that you pray it every day. The only way that you believe it or that you get it and you're walking in it is you do this right here. Go with me to Hebrew chapter you got to do it. This is breakthrough month right here. Break, break, uh, breakthrough. Break, uh, Hebrews chapter. Thank you. You've read it, now it's time to do it. May God add a blessing to the hearers and the obeyers of his word. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Hebrews chapter 4. And we're going to look at verse 14 through 16. And you heard me say it every Sunday. Seeing then we have a great high priest that is passed into the heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. That's what you, what you say that you believe. Amen. When you say that you're saved, that's your profession. Okay? Amen. Okay? Whatever you profess according to his will, you get it. You are it. Amen. Okay? Let us hold fast our profession. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Praise Jesus was tempted just like Adam and Eve. Amen. Without sin. Do you know what God showed me about Adam and Eve? The problem with Adam and Eve is that they believed a lot. They believed a lot. God told Adam, you got everything in the God. And then he said, it's under your authority. And then he said, you can eat of every tree but this one. This time, uh, 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 Satan came and he spoke to Eve, but Adam was right there with him. That's right. Amen. And he spoke loud enough, I know for both of them to hear. Mm -hmm. And he said, Has God really said? That's all he had. He just questioned up. And they believed a lot. And they chose to believe Satan and not God. Amen. That's your test. Do you believe God? Or do you believe the devil? Or do you believe what you feel? <clears throat> because we do this by what we feel like. And what I want to uh, beseech you, I want to compel you, I, wa I want to beg of you. Start spending time in the Word. Start spending time in these specific words. And meditate. And when you come in, I want you to come praying these verses right here. He says, let us come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in this time of need. Jesus said, pray our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, please give our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. But Jesus changes your position because he's in heaven. Now we are in heavenly places. So he says, in your mind, in your faith mind, come to heaven and talk to God. Come up here and get your right hand. So now when you pray, Paul teaches, you ain't got to worry about that. That's all good. And you down here on earth. But what you got to do is come on up to heaven. And when you begin when you begin your prayer, when you begin your prayer, when you begin your prayer, by faith, say, I come boldly to the throne of grace. So take mercy and find grace to help in this time of need. I want the favor. I want your 
Y'all, little boys don't get hit like we used to get hit. I used to get, we used to get hit all the time. See big old knots like horns, demon horns coming out your head. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Boys with hickeys upside their head. Boy, I had hickeys all over his head. Got up, went back to preachers. Where are we going next? You don't get much more awesome than that. Y'all understand what I'm telling you? This is how I pray. This is how God's been blessing me supernaturally here lately. Amen. Amen. God's been blessing me supernaturally. So my prayers are answered, now, and I know that I'm just figuring this thing out. <coughs> I'm talking about months. I'm talking about months. But you got to come to God and expect something to happen. He is. Otherwise, you're just like Adam and Eve. You're believing a lie. Because this world ain't going to do you no good. And, 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 and when you got Jesus on your side, it can't do you no harm. When you're walking with the Lord. But when you are trying to be in the house and out of the house at the same time, you can't do that. How you gonna be in church and out of church at the same time? You gotta give it up. Either give the world your life or give God your life. Be hot or cold. God, Jesus said, I, I, you made me want to puke everybody who halfway. That's the word puke. Vomit. Discharge. Kick you out. You don't like lukewarm. I mean, you either get your coffee hot or cold. Who wants lukewarm coffee? Y'all look at look at it. <laughs> Let me give you one more. You see, you're a king and a priest. I, I, just, I just gotta release this. I got this has been inside of me. You're a king and a priest. And what you gotta understand that 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 you come into the throne of grace because you are a king. Hallelujah. You gotta believe this. And then you go into the holy of holies where the glory of God is and where Jesus the high priest is. And then you go to Hebrews chapter 10. He says, heaven, verse 19. Are you there? Yes. I mean, therefore, brother, born is the enemy to the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and a living way, which Jesus has consecrated through the veil, that is to say his flesh. This is, this is an awesome time to get you a little cup of juice, grape juice. Don't be cheap. You'll be buying that stuff in other places. Get you some Welch's, 100% grape juice. <laughs> I didn't say bubbly wine. I said 100% Welch's grape juice. It's going to cost you $4 or $5, whatever. Get, the get you a cup. Go ahead and get you some matzo bread. If you can't afford it, get you some unsalted saltine. Same thing. Go ahead and get you some of that. When you go in here, you get ready to pray and you'll take the closet. I don't care if it's in the morning or the afternoon, noonday, or at night. When you do this, you go in there and take your blood words. If you ain't got that, I'll give you one, I guess. I gave y'all this two years ago. Amen. The one that made you still got it. Amen. Read the blood words. Amen. If you don't, we have some. I got a few here today. All right? And take that juice and say, I come boldly by the blood of Jesus. And the holiest by the blood of Jesus. A new and a living way which Jesus has consecrated through the veil. And if you say, I come in by the blood, take that juice and drink it. You have your own communion. Amen. You have your own bread. That's your healing. The crumbs off the, off, off the bread, off the table to fall on the ground is the healing. Amen. Jesus told her, said, a Phoenician woman. He told her, she said, well, can, can, I, can I get some help? Jesus says, well, the bread, I can't, we can't give the children's bread to a dog. He called her a dog in the face. That was her test. Called her a dog. But she said, yeah, Lord, I may be a dog. But don't the dogs eat the crumbs? Amen. She got the test and she wanted. She got what she wanted. Have you been coming to church and giving what you wanted? Because you ain't been doing it right. And if we get it, we get peace up. I'm tired of peace. I want the whole loaf. And when I break it, I want it to multiply in my hands. So I can have something to give to somebody. Tired of having to beg people to give us something in this community, in this church or whatever. I got to beg it over myself. I'm a child of God. Amen. And at some point, your faith has got to raise you up beyond your poverty level. Amen. Somebody got to get this right. Amen. So until we start doing it right, you ain't going to ever get it right. Amen. 
And we keep following the wrong one. Yeah. Have mercy, Jesus. It says, have a therefore boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. By a new and a living way, which he have consecrated consecrated for us through the veil that is to say his flesh and having a high priest over the house of God let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering for he is faithful to promise I hold fast to what I believe in Amen. you read this every day and you will remember this and God will activate this in your body because you intentionally came in by faith Amen. Are you listening to me? Yeah. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 5. I'm closing here. It says, But God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. God has released his love to give us extraordinary blessings. And he sent his son to die. But guess what? We don't get a thing unless you believe. Amen. You got to go after it. Amen. When you understand how to do it, you can do it. Amen. When I go fishing, I catch fish. Amen. Only time I don't catch fish, because there ain't no fish out there. <laughs> or, I got the wrong bait. <laughs> That's the only reason I don't catch fish. Don't tell you. It's rarely I go fishing. I don't catch more than anybody else in the bigger than anybody else. Mainly because I pray before I get there. But I, 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 I'm so blessed with that. <clears throat> I got to have documentation. I tell some of the fish stories. I got fish pictures. <laughs> Make the fisherman want to slobber every time he see my fish pictures. Yes, you do. All right? Yes, you do. I, get, I thank God for technology. I can email it and text it to you. <laughs> you know? People mad with me all the way from New York City. <laughs> Can't stand it. I found out how to do it. I found out how to get blessed, y'all. It's in this word. And I'm telling you how to do it. Not only can I catch fish, but I can teach you how to fish. I can take you where the fish is. Why are you listening to me? But you gotta go. I just gave you the blessing. Amen. Let's see what you're gonna do with it. Yeah. This is your test. To be extravagantly blessed, I'll stay just like you are. Amen. Pray with me now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your word today. Thank you for the release that just got released in the hearts and the minds of your people. I pray that all understand and perceive the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God. I ask you, Father, for the blessing. No, no, no. I don't ask you. I say thank you for the blessing. Thank because you've already given it to us. Amen. But if we would only believe in Jesus Christ, Amen. what he did for us, open our eyes, begin to call on your name, we will change this world. I know just like the song said, the chains are falling off. The chains are broken off. We're set free now. Amen. But now that we're free, we choose to follow you. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, give God a hand.